Warning, the following podcast may contain mature content, coarse language, and may cause severe butthurt. You have been warned, internet. Hello everyone! I'm Drew. I'm Dean. And we write subtlety with fire. We got this down, finally. Yep. <clears throat> Took us how many episodes? Like, five? Yeah. So, today we're covering something... Neither of us had really heard of until the movie was announced. Yeah, and we figured we may as well at least be informed. Yes. So, James Cameron recently announced he's doing it. Well, not recently. He announced a while ago. We got trailers for it now. Looks yeah. good. Um, he announced he's going to be doing a Battle Angel movie. Which, I mean, Battle Angel Alita is something... I had never bothered to look into or even heard of. I've heard of the manga. I've heard it's really good. Yeah, I looked into it slightly... Apparently it's long and really good, mm -hmm. and apparently there are things in the trailer that show that the movie's going to be covering a decent stretch of the manga. Well, but... from what I could tell by this, it covered a decent stretch. Okay, we're covering a two-episode OVA that got made in the fucking early 90s. Because we do series here. <laughs> if we're doing a movie, that's a one-off thing. Yeah. This, we wanted to actually cover the OVA, and... <clears throat> It really feels like they tried to cram maybe like 20 what? to 30 fucking manga chapters in two episodes. Yeah, it really <clears throat> it really does. Now let's get the information out of the way. Battle Angel Alita is, was written by Yukito Kishiro, published by Shueisha Manga, and the OVA was directed by Hiroshi Fukutomi. It was animated by Animate Film and Studio Madhouse, who you would know for Helsing or Hunter x Hunter. Yep. And licensed by ADV Films in the U.S. Which, this dub, oh god. This is one of the worst dubs I've seen in a while. <clears throat> it's bad. I mean, I think the most notable actor we got out of it was Amanda Wynn Lee. As Gally. As, which... Her name's why did, Alita. Why did they change her name in this dub? I don't know. Her name's Alita. It's in the fucking title of this fucking series. Yeah. Why would you change it? Because it would fit your lip flaps better? It just sounds like you're being stupid. Yeah. And kind of incompetent. Really kind of dumb. <clears throat> it was... So... My quick thoughts on this are... I like the core of what we have. Yeah, the the overall plot that seems to be there that like we had we, like you have to fucking dig through what the fuckery to find out what the fuck the plot is in this OVA because like I said it seems like they really tried to cram way too much plot into way too little amount of time and way more than is necessary seems like it was cut out. This came out in 1993 and I, sw I would not be surprised if they took shit from the beginning of the manga all the way up to 93. Yeah, that would not shock me. Because <clears throat> it started in 1990. It, it honestly feels like there's so many moments where we went okay, it seems like we're supposed to care but we don't know anything about these characters or what's going on. We know she robot lady and he maybe criminal. Maybe know. not. We know he wants to go to the fucking rich people district in the sky, which is a thing apparently. They didn't really get into much detail on that, but this manga this this seems like it was made to either A be an advertisement for the manga or B be a little bit of fan service for people who have already read the manga. Yeah. It feels like it was made to be some, or even something along the lines of, hey look, we made these two episodes. Maybe we'll maybe do a series. We, maybe we can get the series? Yeah? No. No. No, they never did. <laughs> it, it seemed, and considering it only got these two episodes, I assume the Japanese version isn't much better. 
Like, no. This dub was terribly acted. Like, I mean, the Amanda most... Wynn Lee can do functional acting as we see in Persona 4, and even as much as I shit on the show, Evangelion. Evangelion. But <clears throat> uh, who's she playing both of those? Um, Yukiko in Persona 4, and Rey in Evangelion. Okay. And the other lead in this <laughs> is a. Uh, Really nobody. <laughs> really nobody who his most notable role was Thomas the fucking tank engine. And so he seems like he's really trying to pull like a Marty McFly impression out of his ass. And other times a Shinji impression. Yeah. Which I don't think which wouldn't have happened. happened yet. Yeah, it wouldn't have happened yet. Late 90s. Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, It's one of those things where... The action intrigue. She's thing? just screaming all the fucking time. It's like, oh, it's God, Asta shut bad. Up. It is Asta bad in this. Yeah, it's it's bad. Oh God, it's bad. Like seriously, there was an entire fight where there was no dialogue, but no one shut the fuck up. Yeah. It was just seriously. Ah! Oh. <laughs> also, random helicopter katana was a thing. Helicopter katana, which I'm actually more cool with than I was in Star Wars. <laughs> I gotta because get a gif of that, don't I? Yeah, because at least, you know, Cyborg Man with a helicopter arm makes some semblance of sense. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that they show this to us a minute or two after they say flying machines are illegal. <laughs> 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 What's also dumb is this fight. We don't know what happens. She, we see she has, like, some spark powers and shit, but out of nowhere, a legit-ass lightning bolt just strikes the dude down. <laughs> so I think he was just holding his sword up and got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then apparently she like pumps her blood into the dying dude or something, but we never actually get any context as to that. <laughs> yep. And we're just told it happened. <laughs> like, there are some parts of this that are gloriously dumb. Like, the fucking doctor who created her has a fucking the rocket powered powered hammer stick. spike. <laughs> I mean, I'm really cool with that actually. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, well, like, th there's enough here to make me think that the manga is probably pretty good. Yeah. And if I had heard of this back when I still could see, I would have probably read it. I might check it out, but I w actually think I want to wait and see the movie before I wa read the manga. Yeah, I'm I'm intrigued for the movie mm -hmm. because dystopian sci-fi and robot fights seems like something James Cameron could do well. Mm -hmm. So you want to? We want to go straight to the ratings. Um, I, think I I mean, there's one or two things I want to bring up okay. before we get through that. Okay, okay. Like, where the fuck was the soundtrack? Yeah, there was not. There was just nothing for most of this. There was no sound. I mean, there really. was like a drum track during a fight. I think there was a couple piano notes during a scene that was supposed to be emotional. What the fuck am I supposed to gonna, supposed to do for the background of this? <laughs> I'll just fucking play random shit from other Madhouse works. Yeah, I mean. Happy, happy whistly gone theme. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, I'm actually kind of torn as to what I want to uh, give this. I here's think my I have reasoning. To give here's it my a reasoning. Two. Yeah, I'm going to give it two because it's not without potential. Yeah, there's, there's potential there. It's just squandered by a poor OVA. Some people might wonder why we're giving this a two and Watamote a one. Watamote didn't have any potential. And it on had top no of room that, to get better. The animation in Watamote, as you kept pointing out, was Wasn't bad. It's pretty bad, which is Whereas disappointing from that studio. This, from what you were telling me, for at 93, least looked good for 93. For 93, it was not terrible. A lot of people would probably point out the fact that her eyes are, like, fucking huge, but from what I can tell, that's on purpose. Yeah, from what I can tell, that's the manga, that's this OVA, that's the movie, that's even what James Cameron's fucking doing, which trips people out, and I think that's kind of funny that people are losing their mind over it. Mm -hmm. When her eyes seem to have been giant compared to everyone else's from the start. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm gonna get... It's a two. It's a two. It makes sense. Yeah. This, like, the, what's stopping it from being a one is the fact that it has potential. That's the only reason it's not a one. Yeah, there's there's things there. There are scenes that are enjoyable. And from what you tell me, the animation is solid. 493. 493. 
So with that, though there is one point on the animation note that I do want to bring up. Mm -hmm. The uh, the falling, <laughs> where they just <laughs> zoom the camera out and don't actually move the fucking frame. <laughs> it's like, you can tell because the clouds around him don't move, are like not stationary. They're moving with him. They're just moving outward. <laughs> I gotta fucking find a clip of that now, don't I? You do. <laughs> just to put it right fucking here. Alright, so next week we've got something that's generally viewed as shit. But... Oh, and if you thought... If I thought there was a lot of screaming in this, I'm about to get a little shock. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, no, no, next, next week we're gonna be talking about something that everyone's been shitting on, and it's... We're probably going to be shitting on it. Yeah, oh god. But probably not in the way that everyone else has. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more of this, click here to see our other episodes. Or click here to see our most recent video. Let us know what you thought down in the comments, and if you liked what you saw, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Minds. Or join us at twitch.tv slash that's Jimmy Watch every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday.